Are you kidding me? Here's a shot that I play. They score! And now switches hands. He scores! Oh, my goodness! The Thunderbirds are flying high after going two for two in their home away from home games in Hamilton. Meanwhile, the Swarm, they're looking to build on last week's victory over New York and fight for a spot in the playoffs. It's the Halifax Thunderbirds facing off against the Georgia Swarm next on TSN. inside the Scotiabank Center. There it is, a lovely Saturday night. And we're gonna come inside and welcome uh, lacrosse fans into the building for the first time in 71 days. It's good to be back inside the desk. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pete Dalladay along with Pat Gregoire and coming back with a high-flying offense from Georgia, Pat, against a pretty stingy defense in the Halifax Thunderbirds. No doubt, this is a beautiful matchup for lacrosse fans or lacrosse nerds like myself. Both these teams just match up so well. So many big names on both sides. And most importantly, Pete, it is a pivotal match in the Eastern Conference. As far as Georgia is concerned, let's talk about that offense. We can talk McIntosh, we can talk Jackson, even rookie Ethan Walker as well having a good start, but we're talking Thompson tonight. Anytime you bring up best player in the world, Lyle Thompson name is brought up. And how could you not? leading the league in goals and points right now, and he's showing no signs of slowing down. Halifax's defense is going to have their hands full. Well, let's talk a little bit about that because Warren Hill is no, no longer the most underrated goaltender in the National Lacrosse League. The book is out on him that he's one of the best in the business. He's got some great defenders in front of him, though, too. No doubt, and there's a ton of big names on this defense, but for me, it's the rookie who is catching my eye, Ryan Terafenko. Already two goals in his young rookie campaign, but it's the tenacity, it's his athleticism, and it's so crazy that this is only going to be his fifth professional box lacrosse game. He's playing like a vet. First one in the nest as well, so he's pumped yes. and ready to go. Time to introduce the third member of our team here tonight. Standing by with Swarm Captain Jordan McIntosh, it's Tyson Guy. Tyson. Jordan, hard to believe this will be the Swarm's first time taking on this organization as the Halifax Thunderbirds. They're known so much for their tough defense. You guys, your high-powered offense. What do you have to do to break the wall tonight? Yeah, I think uh, obviously they're at the top of the standings for a reason. Uh, they have a great goalie, great defense, and all around just a good team. I know there's going to be a lot of energy in here tonight, first time back in a while. So we're really excited to be here. For a lot of us, first time playing here, and uh, we're excited to put on a good show tonight. Thanks, Jordan. Best of luck. Thanks, man. See you. Pat, Pete. Back to you. And so from zero fans to close to 3,000 here tonight, and it should be a fantastic lacrosse game. It's uh, coming up next. It's the Swarm, the Thunderbirds, right here on TSN. What is belief? Nathan McKinnon? At 14, he wasn't wishing he'd make it to the NHL. He believed that he would. So while other kids were playing video games, he was putting in the work to make his dream come true. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will. Introducing Fanatics.ca. Canada's largest collection of officially licensed fan gear from all the leagues and teams you love. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.ca, officially licensed everything. You like checks. Hey, we like checks. You like new moves. We like new moves. You like to score? We like to assist. Alterna Savings, the good in banking.
the NLL on TSN is brought to you in part by Alterna Savings. Alterna offers easy, more personal financial services and puts the good in banking. Visit Alterna.ca to learn more. By Fanatics.ca, the NLL's home for officially licensed everything. Visit Fanatics.ca today. And by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. Welcome back inside the nest here in Halifax. It's Pete Dalladay along with Pat Gregoire. Let's take a look, Pat, at tonight's specials. Who do we got? Ryan Fowler, Matt Garrison, Brandon Hessen, and Scott McMullen are your officials. Scott McMullen, the SCO, the local product as well. All right. Uh, let's see if they're going to be in for a busy night or not. Hopefully not. Boy, see, well, let's take a look at your... Starting goaltenders here, brought to you by Guarantee Rate and a veteran in between the pipes for Georgia. It's Mike Poulin. Yeah, Mike Poulin. It's a little bit of a slow start to the year for him, but he's starting to find his stride in net. So he's going to be to our left to start this one, wearing number 30. Wendy's going to be his backup. Both Kitchener, Ontario natives. And down at the other end is going to be the guy they call here in Halifax, the king of the hill. He's a fan favorite, and for good reason. He's one of the best goalies in the league in both goals against average and save percentage, which you just saw right on the screen there. So Hill will get set and ready to go. No doubt he's going to be a busy guy here tonight uh, with some of those players we talked about in the opening, the Thompsons and the McIntoshes, and the list goes on and on. Shane Jackson, they'll go and get their looks throughout the evening, and your opening faceoff tonight is going to be brought to you as always, by our good friends at Sports Interaction. As we get a good view right there of the nest and the fans in the building for the first time since early December, Jake Weathers will face it off here for the Halifax Thunderbirds and for the first time since December, 71 days. It is, ladies and gentlemen, showtime in Halifax. We're underway. Loose ball right off the draw, and it's going to be taken here by Georgia and picked up, and Georgia will have the first chance to break the ice here tonight, and Thompson will run the ball quickly inside Halifax territory as the Thunderbirds get all their D into position. And they'll move it along the, the near side for Jackson. Jackson looking out in front, and... It's going to be Thompson grabbing the loose ball in the far corner. Thompson, little bounce shot from a sharp angle, and Warren Hill with the first save of this lacrosse game. And here's Colton Armstrong. Armstrong, who picked up a nice assist on the tying goal last weekend in Hamilton against Philly. Cody Jamison now, the captain here in Halifax. A little bit high stick, no call, and it's Chris Bushy with it. Bushy taking a look, decides not to shoot. Moves it over to Kyle Jackson. Jackson, he feeds it over, and it's going to be Steph LeBlanc. Shot clock coming to an end, though, and Georgia with some good D getting the ball back, Pat. What do we like for odds here? So it's going to be played here. It's going to be moved in by Georgia. Lots of time on the shot clock. Good look at Hill with a good save. Rebound. Oh, what a stop, Warren Hill. Beauty early by the King. That may stand the as King. the save of the game. I know it's early, but boy. Yeah, the King of the Hill, the nest protector, whatever you want to call him. He's one of the best goalies in the business right now, and it's been two sharp saves early on. We knew the odds would be good that he'd make a big save for sure. What else are we looking at as we get a chance to show the score? And a touch of the turf by Stephen Keogh. It's 1-0 Halifax. We saw Stephen Keogh come back into this lineup last game. But Pete, you and I knew, just not looking like himself. Well, vintage Stephen Keogh steps onto the turf here tonight. 
and shows why he still has one of the most deadly shots in the game. We'll see Captain Cody Jamison feeds the middle. That pass doesn't work, but Stephen Keel there with a beauty. Bouncer in the back of the cage. One more look here. Picking up the garbage, puts it away, and beats Poulin. As, as you said, Turf. As you said, Pete, what? the Turf swipe as well. A little fake, though, right? Just had Mike Poulin frozen. And it's 1 0 early here. And a battle for the loose ball here. Right in front of the fans on the near side are so happy to be back inside watching their. Halifax Thunderbirds. And it's going to be played by Clark Peterson. He grabs the ball. 1-0 here for the T-Birds. Cody Jamison moving it in a little deeper. Here's a pass out in front. Shot, they score! Austin Shanks. It's 2-0 Thunderbirds. Well, Pete, early on in the season, the righties were who was generating all the offense. But last Sunday, it was actually the lefties who were lighting the lamp. But that just shows you how, how dynamic this offense is. As you'll see, Austin Shanks getting back onto the scoreboard as he struggled to find the back of the net. No struggling here as he stings the top right corner, shows off that big smile as well. To give this Halifax Thunderbirds team a 2-0 lead. A real good start here for Halifax tonight. And the draw, it's going to be Connor Kirst against Withers, and Kirst will win this one. Georgia trying to get back in this one, just down two, but trying to get something going. Played by Brian Cole. He sort of backpedals his way into the near corner. Comes looking for the pick. There's the roll. There's the pass into the far corner. And it's going to be Halifax ball. And taken here by the Thunderbirds. Campbell makes his way into Georgia territory. Looking for an open man. They put a little pressure on him. And it's Austin Shanks with it. Shanks shoots, just misses on the far side. And you know Austin Shanks well. When he gets one, he usually gets two or three in a night. Especially when he gets one early. That's a good start for him. No doubt about that. A lot of these Halifax Thunderbird shooters, it's all about getting into their groove. And they certainly like look like they're on their groove tonight. Jordan Hall. Hall with it. Passes it across, looking to connect there with McIntosh. And again, Halifax getting the ball back. Colton Armstrong gets away from some trouble as Hall had him lined up. And Armstrong gets the ball here to Keel. Keel's got one already. He comes, gets a pick, gets a little room. Moves it over to the far side. A shot, and Poulin gets a piece. Comes up and out of play. And it's going to be going the other way. Yeah, the official disagrees with you there. I believe it's <laughs> Brandon well, he Hassan. He had a slightly better look, I guess. Uh, I guess you could say so. I thought Poulin got a piece, but maybe not. Here's Thompson with it. As he cradles the ball and moves it. There's a quick pass in behind the net, looking for perhaps a little dunk, but ball comes out. Shut over the top. They score on the board. Jordan McIntosh hits a 2-1 lacrosse game. Brendan Bomberry, the Syracuse product, getting in on the goal scoring here, breaking the deadlock on the Georgia side. As you see Lyle Thompson feeds that one behind the net. Bomberry just comes across and look at all those purple jerseys stuck behind all the screens. What a tremendous job there playing without the ball, freeing up some space for a big shooter in Bomberry. So that's a big goal that gets Georgia on the board in their first ever trip here into Halifax. And the draw is going to go here to the Swarm as it's scooped up by Wiedemann. And now Thompson, Lyle Thompson. There's the pass way over here. Makes his way to the near side for Jackson. Shane Jackson. It's a ball back. Returns it to the far side. Now he gets it a third time. He worked over pretty good by Tara Fankel. Loose ball in the corner, and McIntosh will pick it up. Loses it, and Halifax with some good D getting it back into their sticks, and up the floor they go, leading it 2-1. to one. Clark Peterson. Peterson watched closely by Brian Cole. Hangs on to it for a little bit. Now he gets it in a little deeper, and he's going to find an open 
Shanks, Shanks coming in. Peterson running out of room, tries to sneak it in. Poulin with a save. And here come the swarm up the other way in transition. As they make their way up the floor. It's Spagen. Here's a loose ball out in front. Comes into the crease, and Warren Hill will take it. Outlet little pass. He'll get it to Brayden Hill in the lineup tonight for the Thunderbirds. Got to be careful. Lost it, and couldn't get it over the line, Pat. Tutton, eight-second violation there, so Georgia going to stick with the ball. But great job by them to forecheck and hem Hill in deep, so they're going to get another possession here. Some of those tired defenders still stuck on the floor now. Here's Walker with it. Ethan Walker has room, decides not to take the shot. Rolls, passes it off. And Georgia looking to tie this one up with a sidearm shot. And Warren Hill with a save. Ball goes up and out of play. And we get a reset and a break all at the same time. It's Halifax out to an early 2-0 lead. But Georgia has closed the gap. You're watching the NLL on TSN. Maker. Welcome back to Halifax, where the Thunderbirds lead the Georgia Swarm by a score of 2-1. to one. Quick start uh, for Halifax and the Swarm coming back. As we want to welcome all our NLL fans in Georgia watching on WPCH Peachtree in Atlanta. Enjoy the game tonight. If the starts, any indication, we're in for a dandy, Patrick. Yeah, that over that we saw early on might be in jeopardy, especially with how good these goaltenders are, the defense are. Definitely look like it could be an under game. But again, these dynamic offenses tend to put on a show here and down in the nest. All right, we're all set. Georgia starting with a full 30 on the shot clock. Walker moves the ball in and then heads towards the front. And now Thompson cuts. Nothing there for him. Comes back to Ethan Walker. Walker sets the pick. Ball moved over by Hall. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Here's a good look by Thompson. He scores. Lyle Thompson continues to lead the National Lacrosse League in goals and just adds to it right there. 56th point, 26th goal, and he's showing why right now many have him pegged as this year's MVP. Great job, though, by Bomberry to set that pick. It frees up enough space to see Graham Hossick and Lyle Thompson matched up. He takes two men out of the picture, and that frees up so much space for LT4 to find the back of the cage and tie this game up at two. Heads up play by Bomberry. So Withers here down on the draw here for Halifax. Camisio for Georgia. And it's going to be a possession here. It's going to be awarded to Halifax. They win it. Good face-off win by Withers. One of the best, of course, in the National Lacrosse League. And a legal pick there. And it's going to be Georgia getting the ball back. Pete coming into this game. Cody Jamison with just nine assists away 
from 500. He's already got two. I don't know if he's going to hit nine tonight. The way he's dishing the ball out would be surprised. He could. Here's a chance at Hill with a nice save. Gets it off the glove. And there you go, Pete. Talked about it. Lyle Thompson, great feeder, great score, but he's so good at getting those offensive rebounds as well. Jordan Hall. Hall passes the ball over to the right shooting side. There's a shot at Hill. Down makes the save. He's been fairly busy here early, and now loose ball is perhaps going to be scooped up here by the Swarm and a nifty little feed to get the ball to Hall. But the play is whistled down with 8.19 to go here in this first quarter. As teams make the change. They're yeah, getting a penalty here. Illegal substitution. As the in-home Braden Hill's going to sit down for two minutes or less. As this potent power play for the Georgia Swarm will have a chance to take their first lead of the game, Pete. Yeah, looking for their first one. That is correct as power play. You don't want to put out there a whole lot if you're the Halifax Thunderbirds for sure. Ethan Walker with the ball right now to the top. And now Thompson grabs it. Reset on the shot clock, so lots of time to work with here. Here's Walker. Walker down low. Jackson. Thompson. Walker again. Everyone gets a touch here to the top. And a pass down towards the crease. Intended uh, for Jackson. No good. Comes all the way back towards center, but they keep it in. And here's Walker again. Walker. Jackson. Backhand feed to the back door. And a backhand shot. They score. What a beauty. As Georgia have taken the lead. 3-2 Swarm on a power play goal. Wow. Just filthy, filthy stuff here from the Swarm power play. As McIntosh shows off his nifty mitts here on the crease. A little behind the back finish, buries it. But how about the feed beforehand? It's back to back behind the backs as the Swarm take their first lead of the game. That was a dandy for sure as Georgia now up by one. We'll see if the Thunderbirds can respond. Playing in front of uh, fans for the first time here in a few weeks. 71 days to be exact in terms of playing here at home in front of fans. And uh, Georgia will get the ball. Kirst. Kirst moves it over. Hendrick. Hendrick being watched closely by Jake Withers. Withers doing his best. Withers has to be care careful here. I think he was upset. There was no call. But he's playing some controlled chaos defense right now. Hall, six seconds on the shot clock, pass across, bit of a twister shot, and it goes wide of the goal, and Thunderbirds get the ball back. Tarafenko, with one hand on the stick, makes his way up towards the Georgia zone. Being chased uh, all the way towards the boards, finally gets it into Stephen Keogh. Keogh to Shanks, over to the far side, pass out in front, and that was intended for Fennell. Now it comes to Cody Jamison. He wires one. Just goes a bit high over Poulin. And Georgia quickly up the other way. Cool. Cool waits for some help. Rolled away. Thought about maybe a shot. Thought better of it. Still being forced up pretty high. Now they move it down a little lower. Up three to two. Pass across. Here's a shot attempted. And Walker with an opportunity there. And now. Halifax up the other way. Clark Peterson trying to grab it. Just couldn't get it under control. And now Georgia right back at it. Just over six minutes to go in the first quarter. Five goals already as Thompson has it. He'll slow it down. Controlling the pace as he can do. Jordan Hall. Hall working one-on-one -on -one against David Brock. Now moves the ball to the top. Shane Jackson moves it. Only a couple seconds on the shot clock, and there's a save by Warren Hill, and Campbell takes it. As it's going to be moved up by Scott Campbell. The veteran here for the Thunderbirds. One of a few, but one of the older players in the league. Here's Peterson, Mark Peterson. 
Peterson to the crease, moves it over to the far corner for Cody Jamison. Jamison out in front, shot, they score! Kyle Jackson, what a beauty there! Took the feed, another assist for Captain Halifax, and it's a 3-3 game. When you see Cody Jamison on the sideboards and you're a defender, bad stuff is about to happen. This is their most dangerous set, in my personal opinion, when they have the lefties buzzing here. I will get a look. Jamison, you see, look at how much time and space he's window dropping and finds Kyle Jackson right in the middle. He's not going to make any mistake. Boy, what a run we've seen Kyle Jackson on. Since being healthy scratched, he has been dynamic for this offense. Three-game scoring streak, that is for sure. Had a couple big games in Hamilton and has this game tied at three right here with just over five to go in the first quarter. The ball goes all the way back into Halifax territory and Scott Campbell is back there to play it. He'll get it here to Clark Peterson. Peterson cradling the ball, flipping the stick a couple of times. Decides not to shoot. There's a shot coming and that's stopped by Poulin. Another stop by Poulin back to back for the Kitchener, Ontario native. And the ball now taken by Jeff Hendrick. Jeff Hendrick, another Ohio State, sorry, I should say the Ohio State alumnus in this game. We know the Thunderbirds, a ton of connections as well. Georgia with 10 seconds on the shot clock to work with. McIntosh comes over to the near side. Big hit there along the boards. And throwing his man down is Colton Armstrong. What a play by Armstrong. He goes off the floor. He drops it. He gets it. David Brock shoots. He scores! Brock from Armstrong. And the T-Birds are back out in front. The Brockett ship is in orbit here in Halifax. And it's taken him a while, as you can see. Billy D. Smith. Super pump for him. That's his first goal as a Halifax Thunderbird. As he gets in on the scoring, so pumped to not only get his first goal of the game, or sorry, the first goal of his season, but also to regain this lead for the Thunderbirds. You know what's going to happen now, David Brock? He's going to wear a turtleneck every game now. <laughs> it, was, it was turtleneck night tonight for the, the T-Birds, and he was rocking it pretty good. You know, all players are superstitious. So it's a 4-3 Halifax lead. A fantastic all-around play by Colton Armstrong. No doubt about that. That was a huge, huge hit. I thought maybe an arm would have gone up. Pete, the officials here, they're letting him play tonight. Just under four to go in the first quarter. Here's Stephen Keogh. He has one already tonight. Over to Eric Fennell. Across. Keel shoots, or maybe it... Could have been an attempted pass. They're looking for Bushi for a dunk in behind the net. Up to four they go. Georgia trying to grab. It's up in the air. They do get it. And they'll slow it down a little bit, allow everyone to get back out on the floor. Yeah, Halifax doing a really good job offensively creating some opportunities, but they have to be aware. Georgia likes sending one or two guys deep to create transition. Got to get back or got to get to the bench quicker. McIntosh now out in front. A chance they score. Thompson from McIntosh, and it's a 4-4 game. Yeah, who else but Lyle Thompson? He is certainly feeling himself here in Halifax tonight. His second goal of the game, 27th on the season. We'll see here. Just gets matched up with David Brock, and you can't go flat-footed at Lyle Thompson because he will snatch your ankles quickly. Takes it to the net, takes a hard hit from Hasek, but that doesn't matter. As he'll tickle twine and tie this game up back. This time at fours. Well, lots of offense here. Eight goals already in this one. And we still have three 11 to go here in the first quarter. And a draw win by the Thunderbirds. Tara Fenko to Cody Jamison. Over to Austin Shanks. Shanks. Moves it, Jackson back to Shanks. He works one-on-one -on -one here, looking for the pick. There's the roll, Peterson was heading towards the crease, and now we got a penalty coming up. It's gonna go against Georgia. Steph LeBlanc with it. Smart LeBlanc. Five LeBlanc to wait for the extra attacker to come out. Shanks shoots, and Poulin with the save. He's got to cut the gear there somewhere. 
When we come back, Halifax will go on a power play. Looking to make it 5-4. You're watching the NLL on TSN. Let's go down to Tyson, standing by with head coach Mike Kersey. Mike heading into this game, it looked like it was the right side of the offense carrying the offense or the left side carrying the offense. Tonight, it appears you've got that balance. What do you say to your team heading into this game against the Swarm? Well, I think if we're going to be successful moving forward, we got to have all guy, all eight guys uh, contributing on offense. So, you know, it's a team effort, and uh, we know they're a small team up there, and they got to get the job done. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Pete. Thank you, gentlemen. All set for a Halifax power play. Tied at four. Cody Jamison with it. Power Gets play. the ball back. Power play that's dead last in the league, which is shocking with how many sharpshooters they have, Pete. Here's Peterson to Jamison. Jamison shoots. He scores. Another point for 88, and it's 5 for Halifax. Bad news for the rest of the National Lacrosse League. Jammer is so back. Last game in Hamilton, Pete, we really saw him start to find his stride here tonight. Has a couple of assists, gets in on the scoring on the power play, and he's got the biggest smile on him as he buries that one past Mike Poulin and to regain this lead for the Thunderbirds. He's still smiling. He's smiling Pete. like a butcher's dog down there, that's for sure. <laughs> So it's 5-4 now, Halifax, 224. We still have time left in this, this quarter. And there's fighting, get that ball off the draw, but he eventually does get some help from his new best friend, his new BFF, Tara Fankel. <laughs> yeah, the Buckeye boys certainly have a connection on that draw team. Here's Steven Keogh. Keel gets the ball right back. Keel moves it over the far side for Eric Fennell. Fennell. And watch by Tutton to Keo out in front to Bushi. Just couldn't find the handle. Fennell will grab it. Five seconds on the shot clock left. He's behind the goal. Comes out in front. Will he switch hands and shoot right? He does. That's how he scored the game winner back on opening night. It was an absolute beauty. That just shows how he uses a little bit of his field lacrosse skill set when he runs out a shot when the ball's in his wrong hand. Ryan Cole. Comes here to Ethan Walker. Walker gets it for Shane Jackson. Jackson's got room. He dives to try to avoid the crease violation. Goes wide and Halifax getting the ball back. It's going to be David Brock. Brock up the floor. Four points away from 100. He's on a roll now. He's like, he's a shooter all of a sudden, Patty. And he's kind of later in his career developed a little more of an offensive game. We haven't seen it so far this year, but I think he's getting a little more comfortable in Billy D. Smith's defensive system. So I, I would expect to see him try to join the rush a little bit more. He showed us early. He's got some pretty good hands. Hall moves it over. 
Thompson, quick little pass to Jackson, swings it over, the shot coming, that was blocked by Graham Hasek. The cyborg, as you call him. There's a hit delivered too by Brayden Hill, who's in the lineup tonight. And here come the Thunderbirds, Jake Withers. And Withers moves it in for Clark Peterson. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Peterson over to Jamison. Cody Jamison sees some room. Sees he's got some time on the shot clock. So patience. Shanks with it. He will head to the net. Here's Austin Shanks. He scores. Shanks with another one. 6 4 Thunderbirds. Austin Shanks with his 11th goal of the season. And it's a heads up play with that clock running down. We'll see the replay here. He gets Clark Peterson to clear out from, we'll get it right here. He directs some traffic, pulls Jeff Henrik out. So that eliminates that slide man. And we'll get a great look here as there is next to no space for Shanks to be pulling. Dodges underneath, bam, right in the back of the net. 15 seconds left. Time for another one. Let's see what the Swarm and Thunderbirds can do here with 15 seconds. Draw one cleanly. Pass in. Here's Clark Peterson. Peterson makes his way to the goal. He shoots. He scores. CP 24. There was time for another one. Clark Peterson doesn't need much time at all to find the back of the net. Great play by Hasek to get the ball up the floor and just a little flick of the wrist. We'll see this great overhead shot. Again, almost a near identical shot. But how about he fights through a couple of checks, almost runs out of space. Wow, and there's still just over seven and a half seconds left. And as I was saying that, I think we might See a challenge here, Pete? I, don't, I didn't see a flag hit the turf, so. Take a look. Take a look at the Georgia bench. And we're hoping this goes their way. So we'll see here. As Peters, obviously that angle there, we can't see too much. But this is the one right there. That is mightily close. As Matt Garrison was the lead official. You see there, number 79. He's the one who's watching the replay right now. That foot is, I tell you, if I'm a coach in the National Lacrosse League, I'm telling all my forwards <laughs> to be wearing white shoes because that is so tough, Pete. Yeah, you're a big white shoe guy, I get it. I it mean, makes, the, it makes sense. It makes sense. They also do look pretty nice, if oh, I must yeah. say, but if you get a little bit of advantage. That's why I wore the uh, white Air Jordans today, uh, shoot around <laughs> in case uh, they needed me to get in there. I saw you shooting around there. Unfortunately, Garrison's head looks like he's, <laughs> it's in the way here. But there, you'll see that foot. It is, I think, I don't know if there's going to be enough evidence to overturn this one, Pete, because obviously they'll go with whatever is called on the floor. We'll hear now what... Uh oh, it does go there you George's go. way. Crowd, obviously, not impressed. Mike Kersey's like, well, oh, that's... That's the cross, the way it goes. So that's a good challenge there by head coach Ed Como. So I think here, we'll get a great look there. And I think that look right there is just enough to prove that his foot was in the crease. So it'll stay 6-4. Thompson from way out, and Hill makes the final save of the quarter to keep it 6-4 for the Halifax Thunderbirds after a busy Opening 15 minutes in Warren Hill. We'll take a well-deserved break, and we will as well. We'll be back with second quarter action 
You're watching the NLL on TSN. Welcome back to Halifax. Hey, get game ready and shop all your favorite teams, jerseys, and merchandise. Head to fanatics.ca to get all your national lacrosse league team gear today. And I know Stephanie and Mike Walker back in Peterborough, Ontario, have a lot of Georgia Swarm gear watching their son Ethan play here tonight. They were hoping to make the trip here to Halifax. They got about halfway and got turned, uh, turned around in Quebec somewhere, Pat. And they're watching back at home. So we'll give them a shout out tonight and a big hello from Halifax. I was hoping Mike could come down so he'd buy us a couple keys here, but <laughs> to no avail. It was a wild travel day for both these teams. It doesn't matter where they're yeah. coming from. So we saw some brutal weather across North America. Withers against Kirst. And Georgia will get possession of this one. Trying to close the gap early here in the second quarter. Kirst has done a really fine job against Jake Withers, one of the best in the biz. Bounce pass, comes over to Bomberry. Bomberry, watched by Hasek, gets it to the far side. Got it to Walker, and now comes back to Thompson. Five seconds on the shot clock. Thompson, swim move. One hand on a stick, takes the shot. Oh, he didn't miss by much. Oh, that actually went off the head of Warren Hill. They'll get a free reset here. Out in front, shot, and that is another big stop by Hill and another reset, though, for the Swarm. McIntosh, cutting was Thompson. Nothing there. Jackson, Jackson moves it, and the Swarm coming in, and a shot right there from Walker, and that's handled by Hill. Tara Fankel. Takes the feed from Hill, who moves it up a little further. Here's a chance. Campbell coming in. Campbell shoots and getting a glove on that. He's pooling. And now it's going to be Halifax. LeBlanc shoots a low one. That goes wide. Thompson with it on a partial break and lost it. Gets it back. And he's going to slow it down here a bit. He's at the end of a fairly long shift, but... Yeah, yeah, I stay out there. It's a long shift for most, but for Lyle Thompson, <laughs> I think the guy can stay on the entire game. I would think so. Here's a roll and a shot and a glove save. Getting an arm on that was Hill. Full 30. Shot, they score. And it's a goal right there by Jordan Hall, and that makes it 6-5. Talk about all the youth on this Georgia Swarm team, but it's the veteran getting it done. Bomberry feeds the middle. That's just too much time and space for Jordan Hill. You can see Halifax defense just all over the place. Just too much running around there as it creates some space in the middle as Bomberry feeds Hall. 
to bring this game within one. We'll see what uh, happens here on this draw. They've been going back and forth a little bit. And Georgia will grab it. Yeah, Jake Withers, unfortunate for him. He won the draw there. Just bad bounce went right in the stick of TJ Camizio. So Georgia with a chance now to tie things up. McIntosh will get it over to the far side. Now comes back to Thompson. Thompson looks, shoots. That was blocked. Never made its way through. May actually went off. McIntosh pass over. And it's going to be taken by Hall again. And now the 30-second shot clock expires, and Halifax gets the ball back, still leading 6-5. Graham Hasek, Hasek to Kyle Jackson. And Jackson coming in. Moves it over to the far side. Shot coming, Pula with a save. And the Swarm grab that loose ball and head up the floor. No work it, looking to tie it up. Brian Cole rolls it along the carpet. It'll be played by McIntosh. Bomberry. Bomberry thought about heading towards the crease, pulls it out, sends it over. And it's taken by Jackson. Jackson backhand pass out front, up no backhand shot, and Ward Hill with a save. Great play all around. Massive stop by Hill. That would have been an absolute highlight reel, Pete. Instead, makes it the big save is Warren Hill, the nest protector, the king of the hill. Steph LeBlanc to Eric Fennell. Here comes Shanks. Now shot, uh, thought about it. Now Jamison walks in, shoots, and Poulin coming up big. As Cody Jamison was able to walk right in and fire. Now in comes Joel White. White gets it in, and the offense comes out on the floor here for the Swarm. McIntosh passes it over. Ethan Walker headed to the crease. Decided not to take the shot. Pass, hit a stick, ends up in the near corner. Only five seconds on the shot clock. And it's Shane Jackson in there, but Halifax will get the ball back. Looking for two-goal lead. Heads up play by Trevor Smith there. Don't pick up the loose ball, just sit on it and allow all that time on the shot clock to run out so your offense can get a free clear. Jackson passes it over. Hard shot right on that. Mike Pula with a save. And Georgia with the loose ball, and they'll get it inside Halifax territory. Pula really seeing the ball well from the outside. Something he's kind of struggled with this season early on. Those outside looks, especially the bouncers, but he looks dialed tonight. Shot off the post. Georgia coming, what an inch away from tying this one up. Bomberry grabbed a loose ball and he gets lots of time to work with here. That got them a reset. Now there's gonna be a real good fight for the ball in the corner and Thompson grabs it. Comes out of nowhere, just grabs a loose ball. And he's gonna hang on to it here too. Heads to the net, shoots and another arm save by Warren Hill, rebound. Campbell gets it under control. He scoops it ahead and it's gonna be Graham Hasek. We have a Port Perry, Ontario. Hasek has it. Into the stick of Steph LeBlanc out in front. And there's a little back alley score. Shanks turns, spins, and scores. And it's 7 5 Halifax. Log on to fanatics.com. Order yourself some new hats because that's the hat trick for Austin Shanks. And it's an absolute beauty. Defender draped all over him. Are you kidding me? Austin Shanks trickles one through for his third goal. Great feed as well, Pete. Obviously, Mike Pooley the one that one back. But anytime Austin Shanks has the ball in his stick, you know he is a dangerous, dangerous player. Took a little bit to roll across the line, but Austin Shanks. Carrying a hot stick tonight, and you're right, that was a dandy feed, too. Armstrong looking to grab it here for Halifax, but Henrik will get the ball into his stick. He gets it here for Tarbell. And Georgia getting their offensive weapons out here, including number 24, Jordan McIntosh. McIntosh 
to the far side. Little fake. Another pump. Here's a chance coming at Walker denied. A good chance there by Ethan Walker. Showing some good patience, the rookie. Cannot put it in. Here comes Gillies across. Here's a chance and great opportunity for Peterson. But he's denied. 9.02 to go here in the second quarter. And it's Halifax leading 7-5. We're back. The NLL on TSN. Canada's odds maker. And welcome back to the East Coast here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, where the bird's up by two, Pat. 3,000 fans here tonight inside the nest, but Tyson is down on the floor with Ed Camo. Ed, your offense really keeping pace with the Thunderbirds here. What holes have you identified in the Thunderbirds' defense that you're looking to exploit? I don't know if there's any holes. We're just really trying to move the ball and, and get a lot of motion out there. We, we know any defense with a lot of motion is going to have some breakdowns, and uh, Warren Hill's making some good saves, but we're, gonna, we're just going to keep at it. Thanks, Ed. Thanks, Tyson. Pete, Pat, back to you. All right, thank you, Tyson. Spoke briefly with Ed before the game. I said, I, I remember watching you play. He goes, you're not old enough to watch, to have watched me play. I did actually watch you play. I was on the bench playing for the Peterborough Lakers, and he was a star for the Fergus Thistles when Fergus had a, a squad. You ever been to Fergus? I have. Great, great I lacrosse have. town. Yes, yeah. absolutely. A fair share of. Well, I got a close, close watch of him. Yeah, he's one of the brightest minds oh. in the game of lacrosse. There's no doubt about that, Pete. Here's Thompson. Thompson coming in, he's got room, he shoots at Warren Hill, standing tall. The king of the hill with another big stop. Here come the Thunderbirds withers with a one-handed pass to Stephen Keogh. Keogh gets it back. He'll get it to Kyle Jackson, Jackson to Jamison, back to Jackson. And he moves it over here. And it's gonna be Peterson looking around. Peterson to Cody Jamison. He's thinking about a pass in behind the net. There it is, little fake. Jackson thinking again, tries to dunk it, and Poulin blocks that one from behind. Swarm up the other way. Halifax doing a much better job on offense, getting to the bench, allowing the defense to take away any sort of fast break transition. McIntosh, loose ball. A little two on two battle for it. Hossack's in there. Smith in there too, and Smith has a chance to grab it. He's gonna have to come over to the near side to do so, but he gets it under control. Trevor Smith, guy you don't hear a lot about, but plays a solid game on the back end. Here's Steph LeBlanc, native of Dundas, Ontario, but making his home now here in Nova Scotia. LeBlanc down a little further. Here's Jackson, scores! Kyle Jackson, air 47. And the Halifax Thunderbirds have taken an 8-5 lead. Make it a two spot for Kyle Jackson here tonight as his unreal run continues. His confidence is flying high. After we talked about it, Pete, 
we're actually going to get a goalie change as Craig Wendy will come in for Mike Poulin. But we'll create a, a great look, a little quick stick. That feed coming across, Kyle Jackson. We'll get an even better look here, Austin Jenks. What a feed right into the stick of KJ47. It's not often you see a Michigan man and an Ohio State Buckeye get along there, but both those two connect. Yeah, it's rare. There's so there's Craig Wendy, also a native of uh, Kitchener. Yes, you meant there. A bit of a goalie factory there. Here come the Thunderbirds looking for more, and Hasek denied. Wendy tested early. Reset for the Thunderbirds, up by three. Play whistle down. 7.20 left here in this second quarter. We'll get a, another penalty for Halifax here. But before we do that, how about Warren Hill? PD has been electric here tonight, making big stop after big stop. The defense has been all right for Halifax, but whenever they break down, and that one was the best one we saw so far, denying the behind-the-back chance right on the doorstep. Power play for the Swarm. Pass by Thompson. Here's his shot taken by Bomberry. Goes high with it. Ethan Walker picks up the loose ball to Thompson. Thompson backhand flip pass. Bomberry being pressured here by Campbell. And Campbell in the corner. He's got two Swarm players to deal with, and it's going to be Georgia Ball with a reset on the shot clock. Walker to Thompson. Thompson, quick uh, little pass to Bomberry. Walker gets it down low. Now Bomberry moves it over. Shot, and that got blocked out in front, I think, by Jake Withers. And the ball up the floor. Graham Hasek will take it. Pete, we talked about how this power play has struggled. Well, the penalty kill has been just as bad as the man up as they are in dead last as well. So a big opportunity to get some momentum here for the Thunderbirds special teams. Fennell fires, he's got a big heavy shot when he's able to let it go and Halifax gets the ball right back. Eric Fennell, become a fan favorite here in Halifax. One of many, but he's right in there. Always has time for the kids on his way on and off the floor. Here's a pass out front, Fennell shoots. Oh, big stop, Wendy. Wendy tested early and often. It doesn't matter that his team has a power play. Shot after shot, but Wendy's looking dialed here tonight. Here comes the power play. They have a little time left to work. Trying to close the gap. Thompson back and forth, down low to the near crease. From the top, Warren Hill with a save. And a rebound coming out. Withers is there. And Jake Withers moves it up the floor here for Smith. Smith thought about feeding it. Decided to slow it down instead. He may have had a window there to get it through, but played it safe. And ball's going to be taken here by Stephen Keogh. Keogh, and that's, Kyle Jackson. And that's the smart play there, Pete. Make the easy pass, not the pretty one. Jackson looking, shooting at a sink by Wendy. He's been fantastic. He's coming in here. Not easy, no warm up. You just go in, as you mentioned, and he's been solid. Here's Jackson to Cody Jamison in behind the net. Steven Keel, what's he gonna do? He's working one on one. Keel feeds it. Jackson in between his legs, and oh. a stop by Wendy. I tell you, when, when Kyle Jackson has confidence, that's when he's playing best. And he is certainly feeling himself. Although he didn't score, we're seeing him trying that tricky stuff. Colton Armstrong with it here for the Thunderbirds. Armstrong with a bounce pass. Fennell moves it over to the far side of the floor. Peterson to Keogh. Keogh to Steph LeBlanc. LeBlanc has a little room. There's the feed to Fennell. Fennell shoots and Wendy with another stop. 420 to go here in the second quarter. It's an 8-5 Halifax lead. You're watching the NLL on TSA.
8-5 for Halifax, but uh, looks like a power play coming up. Yeah, Joel White, not a former Thunderbird, but spent some time in this organization when they were in Rochester. We're going to actually take a look at that penalty, Pete, as you see Fennell was just draped by Joel White, and that's the type of stuff Fennell does. If he doesn't score, there's a good chance he might bring a guy down with him and draw a penalty. Good, good, good effort by Steph LeBlanc to get that ball and keep it inside the zone. Here's LeBlanc to the net, trying to cash in on that play. And there's a Thunderbirds player down. That's Clark Peterson, I believe. And maybe another penalty coming up. Yes, Matt? exactly. McIntosh, I believe it's going to be a high stick, Pete. That is bad news if you're a Swarm fan. Not only are you going down two, but now you're missing McIntosh, who's one of your best penalty killers. They're going to be down two for quite some time, Pete, unless, obviously, this power play that has been struggling immensely, which I don't understand. I don't get it. If you look at all the talent that they have on the floor here, Cody Jamison, Steph LeBlanc, Clark Peterson, Austin Shanks, it's just only a matter of time until this man up starts you know, buzzing and finding the back of the net. Jamison with the ball right now. Jamison to the top, to the crease, fake shot, and they score! The Thunderbirds on the power play. Shanks again. Shanks you very much on the doorstep. You give him that much time, that much space. He is going to bury Jamison with a great feed. Another assist for Cody Jamison. But it's Austin Shanks who scores his fourth goal. And that's just what happens, Pete, when you take penalties. Doesn't matter if this power play has been struggling. When you have so many shooters on a five on three, someone's going to get open. This time, it was Shanks, who just so happens to have the hot stick here tonight. Austin Shanks. Having a night back here in Halifax. Motley Crew had a hit, Pat. Home sweet home, and home is where the heart is here for the Thunderbirds. They couldn't wait to get back here to play on their home turf. It's been since early December, 71 days ago. And the chowder is kicking in pretty good here tonight. And Pete, you, you brought up something very important on the broadcast, or sorry, our pregame show. This team hasn't lost in regulation in this building. Right, yeah, 100%, they have not. Here's Peterson, shot a heavy one, and Wendy just got enough of it to keep it 9-5. Loose ball, Steph LeBlanc's got it. Moves it over, and little fake. Shanks looking for five. To the top for Peterson. Peterson to Shanks, he shoots, and Wendy gets an arm on that one. And Shanks get five before the half. The guaranteed rate halftime report is coming up. We'll have your highlights and more. Recap of last night's games, too. And we'll look at the out of town scores from around the league tonight. As the Swarm get the ball back. McIntosh is still in the box for the next uh, 30 seconds or so. White just slows it down. Goes off a little time of the penalty and now heads off to the bench and it'll be played here by Bomberry. Brendan Bomberry. Got Hossig on him now. Ball comes loose and a great play there by Ferratenko. Ryan Ferratenko. He's picking up this box game pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, Terrafanko, he's such a quick learner. Like, we know he's got the stick skills. We know he's got the athleticism, the speed. Keo over the top and a bouncer and Wendy handles that one. Back to five on five, lacrosse in transition up the floor. McIntosh, back shot, they score! A big one for Georgia here in the later stages of the second quarter. That is a huge goal for Georgia to cut the run that the Thunderbirds were on. Great passing play, Shane Jackson Boy, we've been talking a lot about Lyle Thompson, but we can't forget the reigning MVP, Shane Jackson, as he doesn't have much space at all to tuck that ball in.
but he, you're literally right. He tucked it. He just found a little spot and just yeah. sort of take that little corner, tuck it in. Just like Pat does with his bed before he leaves the hotel. <laughs> he just tucks everything in nice. Here's a draw win by Withers. Jake Withers getting it in a little deeper and then heads off the floor. A little switch sticks. There's the ball taken by Austin Shanks. Shanks moves it in. Here's a sidearm shot and Peterson misses on the far side. Shanks tracks the ball down, gets it over to Eric Fennell. Fennell into Steph LeBlanc. Here's a spin by Chris Bushy. Bushy to LeBlanc, he fires, stop, rebound, Peterson scores! Hart Peterson. 1.15 to go in the half and Halifax are in double digits. CP24 finding his mojo. Was held scoreless for a couple of games. But this time, what a heads up play, Pete. Crash the net, good things happen, kids. As Clark Peterson grabs the loose ball and Craig Wendy has next to no chance. We'll get a great look one more time. Whoop, grabs it, Yabo, right in the back of the net. Clark Peterson, one of the right-handed shots as we talked about earlier. He struggled a bit in Hamilton against Philly last Sunday. Yes. Talking to some people, part of that though, Pat, is because Philly almost stacked their bigger and better defenders on that side, yes. trying to shut those guys down, which they did. The lefties picked it up, but now the righties are back tonight. As a member of the righty union, uh, you know, it's always good to see. No doubt about that. I think, Pete, this is probably the most balanced we've seen this attack from yeah. both the lefties and the righties. Well, Tarifanko is down. Meantime, here's a chance. Georgia with a shot, and Hill getting a piece of crease violation anyhow. But Tarifanko very slow to head to the bench, and he's holding the back of his neck, back of his helmet. Yeah, that's not something you want to see at all, never mind one of your best and youngest defenders. Heel, Heel's got a little room, he fakes, he tries a bouncer and goes off the glass. What a chance there, I thought Jameson had it. But in the meantime, it's a three, all, three on one for the Swarm. McIntosh, he has it. He's gonna slow it down here. Shot clock is, of course, not gonna be in effect here. There's only 18 seconds to go and I believe a timeout called here and Georgia will play for the final shot of the half. You can see Jackson talking to the officials there as you see Ed Camo getting ready to chalk something up here. What a great job he's done with this offensive unit. Yes, you have some veterans. before we get back to the offense. We're gonna take a look at some of Shank's goals here. He's been electric as of late. A little bit of a setback last game, but boy, he's found his stride once again as he's so dynamic. And Pete, it's not just, you know, the abundance of goals that he scores when he's feeling hot. He'll score in any way, he uses his speed there. He can score on the inside with an absolute beauty there. And again, we'll see on the stop, just a little fake boom right in the back of the net. Shanks, you, I think you've said it already. When he is feeling himself and he has confidence, it almost seems like he does not miss, right? Well, he got that early one, and often, as you know, if, if you get confidence in your stick, and I think, you know, these guys have the stick styled in pretty good, but to me, it's almost, it's different than in hockey. If you, if you feel your stick early, yep. and you got confidence in that, uh, in that stick, it's like, okay. It's on, and Austin Shanks has got the hot stick tonight. All right, Georgia looking for what they hope is the final play of the half, maybe followed up by a quick faceoff, but they're playing for the final shot here with the net empty and the extra attacker. Thompson coming in for the swarm. Only a couple seconds left. There's the shot, and Warren Hill with the save right at the buzzer to keep it 10-6 Halifax. After two quarters of play, the first half in the books. Colton Armstrong with a nice assist in this one. He's going to take a well-deserved break. As the men in purple tonight up by four. And he's not wearing purple tonight. Although he was, <laughs> uh, he was flashing the purple pretty good back in Hamilton. But he's looking sharp as always. Tyson Geig standing by. It looks with Scott Campbell down there. Tice, 
Scott, first time back at the nest in 71 days. A little bit different of a feeling playing here than Hamilton? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think just the energy of the crowd, we, uh, I, I don't know, like, I think everybody we got a little bit tired there. I was almost wondering if it was like a bit of an adrenaline dump from having the, you know, the extra excitement in there, and then we kind of settled in there. So uh, it's certainly great to be back here. Austin Shanks just on fire. He looked to be fighting the ball just a little bit last game, but tonight he's got the hot stick. Well, what have you seen from him? Yeah, I mean, when that guy goes off, he's unreal. I, you know, I think he was, he got hurt early, and I think he's just trying to find his way a little bit. And then when you, when you see when he's fully back uh, healthy, that's the kind of stuff he does, right? Thanks, Scott. You got it. Pete, Pat, back to you. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you, Scott. Halifax Thunderbirds leading the Georgia Swarm 10 to 6. Coming up, it's the guaranteed rate halftime report. And we'll show you all the saves and highlights coming up. Recap last night's games and more. Coming up, it's the NLL on TSN. Beautiful nights here in downtown Halifax here in Nova Scotia. Welcome to the guaranteed rate halftime report. It's Pete Dalladay along with Pat Gregoire, and it is fantastic to be back here. We're going to get to all the highlights of our game, uh, Pat, uh, coming up here in just a little bit, but it's been a busy weekend for the NLL. Yeah, no doubt. We saw some great games last night in the National Lacrosse League, and we'll start things off with the game that matters the most for the Thunderbirds and the Georgia Swarm. We saw the Buffalo Bandits come out on top here. But how about this goal from Teoga Nanako? A beautiful finish on the doorsteps. Made that game 2-1. to one. The Oka Nanako, just a human highlight reel for the Bandits this year. But Chris Cloutier with another great goal on the doorsteps. And Buffalo just jumped out to a huge lead. 
And Pete, funny, every single goal in this game <laughs> came in this end. Pray for this net. I was going to say, we'll are we going to see the other end of the rink here? <laughs> no, no, no. Get used to this. Yeah. Dane Smith cashes in on a beauty. And as you can see there, the score, back up tied. Just a wild, wild game between these two teams. We talked about how good this Albany defense is. Well, their offense is really starting to find their stride. The newest Firewolf there. You'll know him if you're a Thunderbirds <laughs> fan. Ryan Banesh scoring there. It's funny, the NLL tweeted last night, the first star of the game was the other net. Because the other <laughs> net did not allow, as you say, a goal in the entire game. I've never seen that before. No, neither have I. But the other game, obviously, the Bandits coming out with a win. But this one, just as back and forth, just as wild. Curtis Dixon, Superman, back in the lineup. And he came with a bang, scoring a beauty, the first goal of the game. You want to talk about beautiful goals, though, Pete. This one coming up here as Keegan Ball gets the ball from behind the net and does a little dunk wrap around. You'll be seeing that one more than just oh, yeah. once here. A highlight reel goal for the Vancouver Warriors. But back and forth we go. Curtis Dixon says, I can do some magic here too. Puts his defender in a blender, goes barred down. The game would be tied up at 10, but it would be the Warriors who would hold on, pick up a huge victory in the West. Yeah, Steve Fryer with the victory uh, between the yes. pipes, sort of a last minute uh, call there for the, the start. And let's take a look what else is going on here, Patty. Yeah, of course, tomorrow, Sunday, fun day, lacrosse. We've got two tomorrow and they're going to be dandies. All right, here we got a pretty good one here tonight as well as the Thunderbirds lead the Georgia Swarm. We'll be back with more of the Guaranteed Rate Halftime Report coming up right after this.
Outside of Scotiabank Center and a nice night uh, here on this uh, Saturday. A little on the cool side here compared to Georgia. Uh, that is for sure. I wouldn't mind getting on that Georgia swing in a couple weeks when uh, the Thunderbirds head down there. That'd be a nice little trip. But let's take a look at some of the action because we got a lot of it from the first uh, half uh, there, Pat. Yeah, no doubt. You want to talk about a game of runs. Well, that was certainly the case early on and it was Stephen Keogh making his impact felt early on. We saw him get into the lineup last game. Didn't score, but he did so here tonight as he, you'll see here, gets that feed. We're actually going to start with Austin Shank's goal. Well, we might as well because he had four, but again, back and forth we go. Both these offenses putting on an absolute clinic early on. Brendan Bomberry gets in on the scoring there, an outside blast. And it's Lyle Thompson getting his first. And we're all tied up at two. But the little behind the back feed and finish, and it's back and forth we go once again. This first quarter was absolutely electric. And we heard M Ed Camo talk about you know, this offense needing to move the ball around fast to get Halifax's defense to break down. But that's exactly what we saw. But how about this absolute beauty from the Buckeye? He's been buzzing tonight. Four goals for him. Kyle Jackson getting his second. Cody Jamison, man, what a game he has had so far. A goal and five assists, Shank scoring his fourth. But this is where we see there that transition goal for Georgia. And Clark Peterson getting his first goal of the game. That one's going to stand as his first of the night did get called off. But that was a, a lot of goals there, Pete, as you can see. A lot of shots on that as yeah, well. Yeah, that wasn't even all 16 goals. But let's take a look <laughs> at the numbers uh, a little closer, Pat. Yeah, no doubt the big thing that jumps out to me, Pete, two for three on the power play. The Thunderbirds have struggled immensely on the man, amp, man up, but their shooters have been shooting and tickling twine. Second half action coming up as we wrap up the guaranteed rate halftime report. 10-6 Halifax. We'll be back. You're watching the NLL on TSN.
There's the Citadel. Beautiful shot right there, just uh, above us here inside the Scotiabank Center. Let's go downstairs. Tyson Geich standing by with a special guest. Tyson? And half ahead of you, what's your message to your team in the locker room? I mean, I think it's just sticking to our sticking to our principles and, and uh, playing with a little more urgency. Thanks, Lyle. Yep. Beat Pat, back to you. All right. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you, Lyle Thompson. As we're ready to roll, second half. Back here in Halifax after over 70 days away. Nova Scotia, for those that don't know, kind of shut things down a little bit with the COVID protocols. But uh, everyone happy to be back. I tell you, Pete, there's only 3,000 fans in this building right now, but it feels like 300,000. So much energy in this building. They're so excited the Thunderbirds are back on the East Coast. And they're up by four, the home team. Jake Withers coming in, getting a hand from Smith, and Withers has the ball. Scored the very first goal here in Halifax, about 10 seconds in against New York back in 2019. I may have mushed cursed, because since I said that, it's been with Withers who's just been dominating the faceoffs. Peterson out in front, Bushy scores! Chris Bushy. An early one here for the Thunderbirds. Mr. Consistency, Chris Bushy scores once again. Hasn't found the back of the cage here tonight until right now. And it's an absolute beauty. We'll see the hard pick set there. <laughs> Clark Peterson just with that little lob pass right to space. Great pick by Bushy. Great pickup. And he takes flight and buries his first goal of the game, 11-6 in favor for the home side. They scored early one. Not what Georgia was open for. They wanted to close the gap, obviously, sooner than later, but they spot another one. Here's Withers going right to the net, passes it off, and a shot, and Wendy with the save. Good chance there by Campbell. As it's gonna be Halifax ball, they'll have Kyle Jackson taken and start to play. Stephen Keel, Keel pass a little on the high side, but Clark Peterson gets it. Peterson, a little swim move, passes it to Bushi. Out in front, he's hitting the legs, they score, Stephen Keel. Goal, Sports Center, because that is going to make the highlight reel tonight. Stephen Keel, are you kidding me? Wow. Just a absolutely disgusting finish from the Toronto, Ontario native goes between the wickets and beats Craig Wendy. We'll get a great look here. Oh, a tremendous tuck from the veteran. An absolute magician when it comes to beauty goals there, eh? We have seen some dandies here in the nest. And that is top two. That, I mean, oh my goodness. Maybe the top one. Withers is just on fire here on the draws. He's like a new man. Probably, you know, looked at some, some video. Okay, what can I do better? Here's a chance as Shanks cutting through. Jackson, Peterson. Peterson looks, he shoots, he goes wide. LeBlanc trying to get it under control. Big goal by LeBlanc last weekend and that win over Philadelphia. Got a knack for scoring some big ones since coming over to the Thunderbirds. Here's Georgia with a chance and a shot goes wide. 12-6, Halifax on a run here. Seven points for Clark Peterson now. I think it's safe to say he's feeling much healthier and he's back to his playmaking abilities. Thompson, underhand shot, and Warren Hill getting nice and low, makes the save, bounces the ball up to Scott Campbell. Campbell moves it a little further ahead. Here's Bushy, one already here in this quarter, working one-on-one. -on -one. Rolls towards the top, moves the ball over here in a moving pick, and it's going to be Georgia getting the ball back and trying to get back in this game. Down by six, up the floor it goes. Shot from way out, and Warren Hill gets a piece, and a reset for the Swarm. Great loose ball. Pick up there by Brendan Bomberry. 
extends this clock. Thompson, nice pass out in front, and Horn Hill shuts the door. Perfect two-man game by McIntosh and Lyle Thompson. Once again, it's Warren Hill standing strong, making that big save. Anytime we've seen this Thunderbirds team break down on defense, Warren Hill's made a big stop right on top of the crease. There's Shanks. Shanks fires. That goes wide. Comes to Steph LeBlanc. LeBlanc to Kyle Jackson. Jackson shoots. Oh, what a save by Wendy. And the rebound taken and controlled by the Swarm. As Jeff Hendrick comes in, Jackson, Jackson moves it over. Thompson quick pass over and a shot and that is blocked. And the Thunderbirds up the other way. Cody Jamison getting it on the play. Peterson rolling. Peterson with a penalty coming up against the Swarm. A broken stick on the play too, so they already have an extra attacker. Now Georgia with a defender without a stick. Good chance here for the Thunderbirds to score before the penalty is even called. Jamison to Shanks. Down low, a quick stick, and Clark Peterson. Hey. Waiting for the call, does not score. Hey, hey. Thunderbirds hey, hey. think it's a good one. Yeah, Clark Peterson's asking for that flag to be thrown, and Mike Cruz, he gets that laundry on the floor, as you'll see in the background. Come on, man, it's fucking brutal right now. That's their fifth fucking hey, power hey, play. But McIntosh hey, clearly not happy with that penalty call. As you can hear, he said that's a, the eighth power play now for Halifax. He might have been exaggerating just a little bit, but as mentioned, Pete, Mike Kersey trusts Clark Peterson's eyes as he threw the challenge flag, so. We're going to see if this one's going to be overturned. It was ruled no goal on the field. Well, let's go back. We'll go back to the original call here, which led to, as we'll see, Peterson. So he, he's running in transition, and that one rides up. Yeah. And gets. And it's actually, Pete, as you see there, the stick was slightly broken before. But Adam Wiedemann was the one who broke his own stick because it had a little bit of a crack. So the stick wasn't initially broken in half from that cross check. But anytime, even if it rides up and hits the goal or the, the, the player in the, the head, they're going to call that. But the officials here have more work to do before they get to that power play is we'll see if they're gonna call this a goal, if they're gonna go with what was called on the floor, it's Ryan Fowler. I apologize, earlier I did say that was Matt Garrison. After review, the ball never crosses the plane of the goal, no goal, call on the field stands. Georgia penalty number 27, two minutes legal cross check. Okay, so no goal, but uh, Halifax will go on the power play, leading it 12-6 uh, still. As I was saying, Pete, hey, Ryan Fowler and Matt Garrison, their numbers are, are swapped, 79-97. Hey, so yeah. got a little bit confused there, but both the officials doing a great job here tonight. We're seeing a little more rough stuff. They're allowing these two teams to play a little more gritty, if you will. Here's Cody Jamison. Jamison moves it over. Keel shoots. He scores on a touch of the turf. Keel with another one. That only took nine seconds of power play time. 13-6 Halifax. The Toronto Beaches alum have a night, Stephen Keel. That's three goals for him. Only two turf touches, though, as he didn't touch the yeah. turf on his second goal. But this one here, he's going to make no mistake on that rip from mid-range. Beats Wendy on the near side. And this power play, Pete, might have found their stride as once again they score on the man advantage. Perfect execution in passing, even better execution in shooting. I think probably it got off to a bit of a slow start. I mean, Jamison was out of the lineup early, Shanks, then Stephen Keel. They haven't had too many games where they've been able to really have their five top guys out there, and it's starting to show now. It's been pretty consistent here tonight. That's a great point, Pete. There's no doubt that the inconsistency of the same offensive unit has really messed with 
the power play early on, but they're starting to find their stride. Jackson with a heavy shot attempted, but hit a body and ends up in the corner. Jake Weathers in there throwing his weight around with just under 11 minutes to go in the third period. Little great big C being played here inside the Scotiabank Center. Some good old kitchen party music, Patty. Here's Billy D. Smith, Roger Chrysler doing a great job on the bench. And here's Graham Hasek. Hasek jogging it up the floor. He's got Eric Fennell coming in. Fennell dropping it. Bushy shoots from way out, and that is stopped by Wendy, who looks up the floor. And there's a nice pass, and Georgia quickly gets it down inside Halifax territory. Ethan Walker. Walker number 57 here for the Swarm. Actually lives in Halifax now and works here in Nova Scotia. So he didn't have far to come for this one. Here's Walker. Walker tries to here we go, here we go, scoop one. a bounce pass out in front, but broken off, and Halifax coming up the other way. David Brock, who's got himself a goal here tonight. In for Keel. Stephen Keel having a night, along with Austin Shanks. Keel moves it over to the far corner for Cody Jamison. Jamison coming in. Jamison looking for the pass, and the play is whistled down. 9.51 remaining here in the third quarter. Halifax leading 13-6. It's the NLL on TSN. Maker. The NLL on TSN is brought to you in part by Alterna Savings. Alterna offers easy, more personal financial services and puts the good in banking. Visit Alterna.ca to learn more. By Fanatics.ca, the NLL's home for officially licensed everything. Visit Fanatics.ca today. And by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And it's going to be Georgia with the ball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Little dump pass. Shot coming. And Hill with the stop. Ball goes up and out of play. And a souvenir for a fan coming in from Cole Harbor grabs that one. And it's going to be Georgia going to get it right back. Needing to stop this run if they want a chance of coming back here. Quick stick. That goes out of play, and it's going to be the Thunderbirds with it. Graham Hasek with just over 9, 10 to go. Here in the third quarter, still lots of lacrosse left. Here on this Saturday night on the East Coast. Chris Bushy, Bushy to Kyle Jackson. Everyone gets a touch here for the Thunderbirds. Comes to the far side and a shot and a nifty save by Wendy. Great stop by Wendy there, making the, the save with his stick and 
quickly up and out. Ethan Walker coming in. Nice pass. Shot, and that goes wide. Rebound. And it's going to be intercepted. Walker trying to scoop it off the carpet, but the Halifax Thunderbirds will take it. They'll get it up the floor. Here's Gillies. Gillies had a huge goal in that win over Philadelphia late to tie it up. Here's Shanks flipping the stick a couple times. Austin Shanks over to Steph LeBlanc to Cody Jamison. Jamison rolls to the top. Jamison to Shanks. Shanks had it intercepted. He was looking to find Fennell. Fennell helping him out along the boards. Fennell has it. Back to Shanks. He shoots. Just missing. There was about a second or two left on the shot clock. Yeah, that was near perfect defense from Georgia for about 28 seconds, Pete. But if you just stop working for those last final seconds, Thunderbirds are going to be able to find a chance. Luckily for Georgia, they were able to grab the loose ball. Swarm with it. Penalty, Penalty coming, up. coming up. Shot coming. Hill takes it right off that uh, Thunderbird logo on his chest, but it's going to be Georgia heading on the power play here. Withers on the slash. And one thing to note, we haven't mentioned it, Luke Magnin not in the lineup here tonight. So they're missing one of their best penalty killers down low on the crease. So it looks like Colt Watkinson is going to resume where he's been playing the majority of the power, or sorry, penalty kills. Swarm moving it towards uh, the far crease for Thompson to the top. Loose ball in the corner. Colton Armstrong in there, and that's going to be a full 30 here for the Swarm. Armstrong a little too aggressive there. Walker. Ethan Walker coming in to the top, and a shot and a save by Warren Hill. Full 30, the reset for the Swarm. Walker gets the ball back. Looks to the top, to the crease, back to Walker. Again at the top, little fake. Bomberry, Bomberry fires, got redirected. Swarm pick it up. Across, Walker looking for a little quick stick. Good defensive play by the Thunderbirds. Armstrong and Walker battling. And it's going to be taken by Bomberry. What a pass and a shot and a save by Warren Hill. Great scoring opportunity for Georgia there, but a great job on the penalty kill. Very aggressive moving around, but when you have great ball movement like Georgia, you have to counteract that with some fast feet, some rotations. That's exactly what they did there. But 45 seconds still on this penalty to Withers. And we know with so many dynamic sharpshooters on this man advantage for Georgia, they can make you pay quickly. Bomberry moving it over, sets a pick. There's the pass, there's the shot, they score. On the power play, Jordan Hall with another one here. That's big, that gets a swarm on a little closer to that 13. Yeah, that goal certainly stops the bleeding here as we've seen Halifax on a run here in the third quarter. But it's a power play marker. Look at this little feed from Lyle Thompson. Just so casual. As Hall will see slips right through that diamond, or sort of the box there, as they were getting ready to shift into that diamond. But Lyle Thompson finds the open man. David Brock goes to slide. It throws the body. But the veteran Hall gets that shot off. It makes it a 13-7 game. Withers wins the draw and has the ball. Withers drops it. Swarm got a stick on it, and it's up for grabs here. Tara Fankel doing his best, and he eventually gets some help from Colton Armstrong. He gets away from a couple checks. Armstrong coming in. Oh, what a twister shot attempted by Colton Armstrong, who's having one of his better games that, you know, he's had some chances, picked up an assist, a big hit. I feel like every game I say that's the best game we've seen yeah. Colton Watkinson play. Boy, he's really starting to get confident using his athleticism. Thompson coming in, shoots, no goal, crease violation. Speaking of using <laughs> your athleticism, that would have been a highlight reel, absolute banger of a goal from Lyle Thompson. Here comes Steven Keogh. It may be tough to top his highlight reel goal earlier. He comes in, he shoots a bounce shot. Wendy with the save and the swarm with it. They're down 13 to seven. As it 
It's taken here by the Swarm. Again, hello to everyone watching on WPCH Peachtree and Atlanta tonight. We hope you're enjoying the game. Here's Thompson. Campbell right on him. The veteran Scott Campbell is having a strong night tonight as well. And the ball comes up in the air. Warren Hill grabs it. Automatically looks up the floor to see if anyone's home. Nobody there. And the Thunderbirds' Jake Withers will take it. Withers to Clark Peterson. And Peterson moves it over to Kyle Jackson. Jackson cuts. Coming towards the top, LeBlanc pushes it over to Austin Shanks. On the arms, Shanks, on the arms, on the arms, he takes a peek, looking for an open man. Five seconds on the shot clock, gets it to Jackson, he shoots! And on, guys. the stop by Wendy. Quickly, Pete, my apologies, Go. calling Colton Armstrong, Colton Watkinson. Clearly, I've watched too much the Albany game last night, but Armstrong has been phenomenal here tonight. Ooh. That's a dangerous play. I got it. Just two, Power play three, coming three, up, three, I would think, for Halifax. They lead it 13 to 7. Oh. And we'll be back. You're watching the National Lacrosse League on TSN. And welcome back to Halifax 137 Thunderbirds. Get all the breaking NLL news, updates, stories, and more right into your inbox. Sign up for the NLL newsletter today by going to NLL.com. That is your first stop every morning after a busy couple nights in the NLL for sure. Here's Peterson to Stephen Keogh on the power play. Peterson to Jamison. Peterson gets it back. Keel looks and that's stopped by Craig Wendy, and it's going to be Georgia shorthanded. Here they come. Pass mishandled, and it's a fast break, a three on one. Tarafenko moves it over, and that's sort of bobble there, and that's the only time Austin Shanks hasn't been able to get the ball tonight. He's been on fire, but. They go, they'll get the ball back, though, in a full 30, Pat. And Terrafenko, when you say it's a fast break with Terrafenko, it's a really, really fast break. Just showing his speed there in transition. Jamison. Jamison. Little fake across. A quick stick by Shanks. And Wendy gets a piece. Just over three to go in the third. Halifax on a power play. Brian Cole with the ball on his stick. Cool. Up to Jordan Hall. Hall moves it over. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Thompson coming in, almost fell. Then lost control of the ball. Good defensive play by the Thunderbirds. Here's Campbell. Campbell working one on one here. Drops it. Maybe intercepted. Oh, what a grab. 
What a play right there by White. Joel White with a dandy move. And the swarm with it. Loose ball in the corner. David Brock hustles in there for Halifax and grabs it first and gets it up to Cody Jamison. 20 seconds left to the man advantage. Jamison slowing it down a little bit. Walks it inside a little deeper to LeBlanc. Jamison. Shouting out a play here for Keo. Puts up with the clock. And now in movement. Jamison. Keo was cutting. Got broken up. And it's back to five on five across. Under two to go in the quarter. Bomberry. Flips it into the stick. And he'll get it to Shane Jackson. Jackson. Former Whitby Warrior shoots and a save by Warren Hill. Hill passes it up. Armstrong grabs it. Bolton Armstrong. He'll pass it off. He'll get it to Kyle Jackson. He's on the wrong side of the floor. He'll dish it off and then head back to the far side. Peterson to Eric Fennell. Fennell's got a little room, decides not to shoot. Peterson with a nifty move. Peterson protecting the ball. He gets knocked down to the turf, and Bushy comes in, throws his man, and now we got a scrap. We got Colton Armstrong dropping the mitts here for Halifax. And here we go. Armstrong. That's Brian Cole. And Cole, the double nickels. And the referee steps in and breaks it up. Fans, fans don't mind it here in Halifax. And the Thunderbirds certainly don't mind it as well. We'll see how this all starts, Pete. As Ethan Riggs sends Peterson to the ground, Bushi doesn't like that at all, and Cole rips off Bushi's bucket. And then these two decide to tango, sticking up for his teammates, Cole Watkinson. And good on him there, Brian Cole. Definitely with the size advantage. No real haymakers thrown in that one. Ethan Riggs. Brian Cole, as you see there, both of them gonna sit down. We'll have to wait to see for how long. It'll take a while for uh, Armstrong to get the gear back on there, <laughs> but. Uh, Bushi and Armstrong in the box. Full house in there. That's a good look, you know, for the, you know, lacrosse fans not familiar with the gear, you know, that, that's what you got right there. I need 43 over here, okay? Two captains having a discussion with the official. Ryan Fowler. So coming with under a minute left in the quarter. Ryan Fowler and Matt Garrison having a chat with the captains here. Both these guys. Jameson and McIntosh, two of the best leaders in the game. So, think he's gonna come two smart the players as well, so they're definitely putting their input on what they think the call should be. But Fowler having a chat with Jameson there, explaining what's going on. Quite the heated discussion between the three. That's what we got. You got original? Well, yeah, but we're not going to call this one either. So, our power what about play, Colty? Our Colty went in there. He was expecting one. Our, he was our, the one who fought. No, he was bringing him and stuff. He was the one who our, fought Army. Our ball. How did we miss the guy oh, that fought Army? Here, exactly what the guy that fought was Army. called there's on the floor no, for Garrison. No we couldn't quite hear the in home no mic. But the way I'm that Cody Jameson is reacting to Garrison and Fowler makes it seem that he's not pleased with what the call is on the turf. And then, and then, and then everything else, everything else washes out. Armstrong up on the board has a deuce. You guys have a two-minute power play. Everything else washes out. Who? Yeah, if the extra two is going to Halifax, that's what Cody Jameson is arguing is that Cole sort of came into play there sort of as a, not of a third man, but 
Armstrong kind of followed him as we take a look there at Ethan Riggs. Burlington, former Burlington Junior A. For so we'll get a look here. Riggs, this is the original penalty. The rough comes here from Bushi. And then that's where you yeah. get the scrap. So the extra, I guess, coming for Armstrong for jumping on the back of Riggs. I guess the official's view of it is if Armstrong doesn't go after him, there's no fight. So right. there, exactly. there's the extra two. And a big power play here for the Swarm. They need to start chipping away. Thompson, Walker, down to the crease for Jackson. Withers is all over him. And we get a whistle. Great rotation. Ball. Great rotation by Withers. Comes across the crease, breaks up that play. Halifax will have some time here to chew up the clock. Only 38 seconds left in the quarter. Shanks with it right now. Austin Shanks. What a first half he had. Eric Fennell. Fennell. Working one-on-one -on -one. now. He's got two guys on him. Takes the shot. That was actually blocked by Joel White. I'm not sure. I'll have to check the, the updated game sheet here, Pete, but Brian Cole's not in the box right now. It's just Rick, so I don't know if he maybe is getting something fixed with his equipment. Oh, what a save! Warren Hill called Prime Stoppers. My goodness, the save of the night by the King of the Hill. Big smile from Warren Hill. The King of the Hill, welcome back to the nest. An unbelievable highlight reel save. My goodness, we're back after this. It's the NLL on TSN. Know what the alternative save of the game is, Pat Gregoire. It's the save of the game, and it might be the save of the year. Warren Hill, welcome back to the nest. Just some absolute magic. As we'll see a second look here. Great stop with the stick. And for a big lad boy, does Warren Hill move well? And a big smile. To, look at Easel. <laughs> feeling himself. He even knew that was a great save. We talked about this earlier. Warren Hill could walk into a bank and rob it if he wanted to, and they would probably just hand him the cash because he's just a cool cucumber. Nothing rattles him. Nothing shakes him. I mean, you can't tell if the Thunderbirds are losing by a billion or winning by a billion. He's so calm, cool, and collected, Pete. Not only a great save, a buzzer beater. You know, keeps it 13 to seven. Georgia probably would have got some momentum off that to start the fourth quarter, but instead Hill comes up big. Here's Tara Fanko. Tara Fanko 
didn't get it over the line. And it's going to be Georgia ball. See if they got a big fourth quarter in them here. Just looking at the game sheet, Pete, no penalty at all to Cole there. So I'm, I, I'm not too sure how that happens. Bomberry shooting. That goes up and over the net, follows up on the play, grabs a loose ball. Takes a good Georgia bounce and put a pass by Thompson. Just swings it over. A shot that goes way out of play. And it's going to be Jake Weathers dropping it here for the Thunderbirds. Up to Graham Hasek. Hasek to Kyle Jackson. Ten seconds left in the Armstrong penalty. He's looking over to see what the Thunderbirds bench wants him to do, whether to head over or get in on the offense here. Jackson. Got a little room. Passes it over. Quick stick. They score. What a pass over. And another one by Austin Shanks. He likes that end of the rink, Pat. He certainly does. And it's goal number five. And what a feed from Jackson. Goes across the crease. Quick stick. In and out. We'll get a great look here. Jackson takes it down low, fires it over to the far side, and Shanks in and out of his stick. In the blink of an eye, five goals and an assist. Have a night, 33. Have a night. That makes it 14-7, so the Thunderbirds have doubled up the swarm here with just under 14 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They win the draw, and it's going to be Georgia trying to close the gap. Thompson. Thompson to Bomber. Penalty coming. It's going to go against Halifax. A shot wide of the net. Ball up for grabs. Halifax will grab it, but they'll go to the gates. Cross checking. Looks like against Trevor Smith. Trevor Smith keep looking, waiting for that replay. He certainly doesn't believe it should have been an illegal cross check. But and Chris Bushi disagrees as well as he shakes his head. Well, here comes the power play for Georgia. Thompson gets it to the top. As he got it there for Cole. Shot comes off the boards pretty hot. And it's going to be Scott Campbell. Campbell, nice pass. Make it way over to the near side again. But Kyle Jackson is going to set up shop here along the boards and start the play from there. Smith in the box for the home team. Jackson is just content to kill off some time and now make a move with five seconds on the shot clock. Switches hands, shoots Wendy with a save. That was almost a highlight reel goal. Back in the crease, and Jackson gets the ball back. Kyle Jackson with a full 30, so that should really chip away at the penalty if they decide to eat up a good chunk of it, which they probably will, especially with a 14-7 lead. Keo, Peterson, over here to Jackson. Hop, skip, and a jump here for Jackson. One hand on his stick. Swings it over. Keel backhand. Oh, what a save by Wendy. Steven Keel is in the zone tonight. It's dialed. Absolutely dialed. Just trying ridiculous things. Just a couple seconds on the clock. Why not throw it on that? Why not throw behind the back? Swarm continue on the power play. Bomberry backhand feed. Thompson to the crease. Shot. And a big save again by Warren Hill. The nest protector. Bomberry, again to the crease. Here's Walker. Walker to Bomberry. Fires, and that is blocked by Graham Hasek. Good job by Walker to keep it here on this side of center. Bomberry, Thompson. Thompson to Bomberry to Walker. Walker decides not to take the shot. Backhand feed Thompson. To feed it to the crease. Ethan Walker to Bomberry. Shoots, he scores. A power play goal by the Swarm. That makes it 14-8. Brendan Bomberry's nickname Bomber, but that one was an absolute snipe. A laser on the power play, but he finesses this shot here. Just a little fake, 
right over the shoulder, picks Warren Hill apart from the outside. It's a more of a little mid-range, but that little dip of the shoulder and then goes over top. That's just a pure goal scorer's goal. Cursed against Withers here on this draw. Georgia's been mixing it up a little bit, and Withers gets a hand from Brian Ferratenko to Stephen Keogh. And Keo dodges a little traffic, and he bounces it over here to Scotty Campbell. Shanks to Keo. Halifax looking for more. Eric Fennell. Fennell had a little room, pops it out in front. Backhand shot, and Wendy with the save off Shanks, who's looking for the sock trick. Who else but Fennell picking up that loose ball. He's the unsung hero of this offense. Fennell's got it. He'll get it here to Cody Jamison, who quickly gets it to Steph LeBlanc. LeBlanc moves in, shoots, goes high off the boards, and Clark Peterson, he attempts it. Now it's LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Comes over to his strong side. In the meantime, shot taken at his. It'll be blocked and a pick violation there. And it's going to be Georgia ball. White off the bench. Here's a chance. Ward Hill with a save off Jackson. Shane Jackson denied. Hasek with it. Open man. Shot coming. Scores. Austin Shanks with the sock trick. All right, Halifax, you throw in your hats. Now it's time to throw the socks. As the Buckeye is buzzing here in the nest, takes that pass off the bench from Hasek, and it's just a little flick of the wrist as Austin Shake scores goal number six. When he's hot, he's hot. And boy, Pete, he's hot here tonight in the nest. He sure is. Makes it 15 to eight. T-Birds with 10, 21 left. Withers, the whiz as they call him, and the face-off dot. Keo doing a great job of protecting the ball. He's got three swarm players on him. He goes down to the turf, gets back up, still has the ball in his stick, and a penalty eventually will be called. What an effort by Stephen Keo. 10.04 remaining here. Halifax will go on a power play. Look at this. What a great grinder Stephen Keogh is. It helps when you have a, a shopping bag for a pocket in your stick, but nonetheless, takes a couple of hacks, whacks, a couple of more while he's on the turf. Still has the ball. It finally comes out. But there's not too many more players on this Thunderbirds offense that takes a beating. Like Stephen Keogh, he's going to earn a well-deserved rest, even though he's been dynamic on this power play. Instead, they're going to go with four, sorry, three lefties. Across Jackson, and that is blocked. Georgia getting the ball back. Desperate need of a shorthanded one here. Under 10 to go in the quarter. And they are down by seven. Yeah, they'll have the green light to take to the net if they see something here. They got to generate some offense, and who better than this man with the ball on his stick here? He's been known to make some magic happen. Lyle Thompson. Nice pass, shot, a bouncer. A little too far ahead of the crease, and it went up and over Warren Hill. And the ball taken here. There's a nifty little feed by Hill. Gets it up. Tara Fankel coming. A nice pass across. And Shanks fakes. Shanks. Pulling it down a little bit. Clark Peterson with the ball now for Halifax. Steph LeBlanc. Righty strong this time. Ball up for grabs. Swarm will grab it. And here they come. So it's going to be Tarbell. Short hand, and there's 47 seconds left in their penalty. 15 on the shot clock. Barry, now it's swung over here to Thompson, Lyle Thompson. Thompson being watched closely here by Fanko. Now it's going to be blowing down. 
15 to 8, Halifax leading Georgia with Shanks with six. You're watching the NLL on TSN. Nathan McKinnon, at 14, he wasn't wishing he'd make it to the NHL. He believed that he would. So while other kids were playing video games, he was putting in the work to make his dream come true. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will. Introducing Fanatics.ca, Canada's largest collection of officially licensed fan gear. From all the leagues and teams you love, shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.ca, officially licensed everything. You like checks. Hey, we like checks. You like new moves. We like new moves. You like to score. We like to assist. Alterna Savings, the good in banking. There's a good look at Cody Jameson. Yeah, that was, that was the man who started everything off with the turning point. As we'll see right here, Cody Jameson, believe it or not, it was 5-4 after this goal. And ever since then, it's been all Thunderbirds in terms of a lead. They have not looked back, and it's a power play marker for Jameson. And Pete, you could even say not only did this turn the game around, but it also turned the man advantage around. They have been almost unbeatable on the power play here tonight. And it all started with that goal there. So here we go, Halifax with a little time left on the power play, not quite the full 30 seconds on the shot clock. But they'll have about 20 left right now. Pass down, Lola Blanc shoots, and he's denied by Wendy, who replaced Mike Poulin earlier in this lacrosse game. And the Swarm with it. They will pretty much eat up the final eight seconds of the penalty. LeBlanc, six assists, no goals so far, but he, it's not just the, the goals, Pete. He's been crashing, banging, picking up loose balls, and that's one big reason why Kurt Stiers went out and All signed him. Because he does so much more than just put points on the stat sheets. Well, future Hall of Famer for sure, right? No Steph doubt about LeBlanc. that. Oh, Ter Ter Terrafanko. <laughs> past Thompson. Wow. Tarafanko enjoying his debut here in the nest. Jackson, Kyle Jackson. He had Fennell open, decides to go across, and then Fennell was cutting, couldn't grab it. And Georgia with the ball. Under seven and a half to go in the fourth quarter. McIntosh. McIntosh passes it down towards the crease, and a shot. And that is whipped wide of the goal. Thunderbirds get the ball back, and it's Jackson. Waiting for everyone to get into place. Steven Keough. Keough into the corner. Comes over here to Steph LeBlanc. LeBlanc looking for another helper to Keough. Back to LeBlanc. Great uh, ball movement shot, and getting an arm on it is Craig Wendy. In it. Chance now for Georgia to go up the other way. Wiedemann grabs it, loses it, but gets it right back. Wiedemann, one of the most underrated defenders in the game. He's so smart, so sound. Thompson, he's got a little space, and he got closed. Couldn't take the shot. Hanging on to the ball, five seconds on the shot clock. Thompson, what a pass, what a shot, and what a save, Warren Hill. Ridiculous stuff from Lyle Thompson to even get that pass off with the one hand. Gets it to Jackson, but Warren Hill, like you said so many times here tonight, nah, -uh, makes the big stop. Eric Fennell, way over to Stephen Keogh. 
Kio. It's some room courtesy of Bushi. There's a quick stick attempted by Peterson. He lost it for a second. It went off the glass, all the way up the floor. Here's a chance for Georgia shot, but no, sir. Denied by Warren Hill. Boy, Jackson has had so many chances, especially off that bench. Just can't beat Warren Hill. Sometimes a goaltender just has your number. That's certainly the case here. Halifax looking for a little extra insurance here. Already up 15 to eight. Little spin, Bushi with a twister as he made his way towards the crease. Chris Bushi having a strong second half. White takes the ball off the chest just to get it into a stick a little easier. Here's Thompson. Thompson trying to work around Ferretenko. Fakes, shoots Hill with a save, but a penalty coming up against the Thunderbirds. All right, that's the first time I think I've seen Ryan Tarafanko look like a rookie this season. Kyle Thompson puts him in a blender, draws the penalty. So a much needed power play coming up here for Georgia. They're gonna have to strike quickly as they trail 15-8. We'll see Tarafanko on an island and bad things happen when you're on an island with Lyle Thompson. He takes that low, one hand on the stick. The officials are gonna call that 10 times out of 10, Pete, you know that. And Ryan Tarafenko learning the box game. So Georgia, obviously must score power play here. Now or never situation. Thompson to the top for Bomberry shoots wide. Loose ball taken here and a chance for Thompson. Only five seconds left on the shot clock. Backhand pass and ends up in the stick of Warren Hill. Looks up the floor. There's the pass, and I don't know if he's looking for Withers or just I think saw he, something I didn't. I think he just didn't have many options there as Georgia did a great job on the ride, getting out and eliminating it and trying to make him make a play there. Bomberry, pass, shot, they score. They get one on the power play. Brian Cole closes the gap to 15-9. Brian Cole, the pride of Maryland. The former Turk gets on the board here on the power play. We'll get a good look here. Bomber having himself a night, gets an assist on this one. Just not much movement. You can see hey. Gillies tries to close the gap. Just They get caught just a bit too much pinched hey. at the top. Bomberry go, recognizes go. that and fires that over to Cole. 24 goals Down. scored here tonight, so the over and under took a bit of a kicking. Well over at this point. Find it. No doubt about that. Weathers, staying with Weathers with Smith with him. Weathers heading to the front. He shoots at a save. Weathers trying to go from the dot to the back of the net. Came close, Georgia. See if they can get out a bit of a run to get a little closer here. Down by six. Here's Thompson. Thompson has a little room. Spins away from a couple of checks. Gets it over to the far crease. Jackson. Pick set. There's the roll. There's the fake. And there's the save. Warren Hill took it off the left shoulder. And the Thunderbirds up the other way. Colton Armstrong. He's had a little bit of everything going tonight. Nice assist. Big hit. Fight. I don't know if they have a grinder of the game tonight, but they may get a vote. Keo over the top, goes high, and loose ball taken here by Tarbell, and they'll go up the floor, a little three on one shot, and Warren Hill again, shutting the door. 3 10 remaining here in regulation, 15 9, Halifax leading. We'll be back, it's the NLL on TSN.
15-9, Halifax leading Georgia. There's Lyle Thompson, and Thompson will start with the ball to Bomberry. Jackson feeds it in a little deeper. Georgia needing to get on a run, and they need to do it in a hurry. Thompson trying to work past. Hossick shoots, and Hill gets a glove on it. Full 30, good loose ball taken by the Swarm. There's only so many left as the Swarm. Stuck at nine at this point. McIntosh moving it over here. Jackson. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Bomberry making his way out in front, and Withers is on him. Campbell on him as well. He wasn't getting far. Forced right into the crease. Pete, one of the things we talked in the Halifax Thunderbirds pregame show, we said chance there for Peterson off the bench. Get to that point in just a second. Swarm up the other way. Here they come. Little give and go shot, and Warren Hill gets the ball, looks up the floor, decides to dump it down the middle for David Brock to take. And Brock, he looks and he just pops it into the stick here of Steph LeBlanc. Shane Jackson just cannot catch a break off that bench in transition. Cannot beat Warren Hill. He's had so many opportunities just coming away with one goal here tonight. LeBlanc to Keo. Keo moves it in a little deeper. Here's a shot coming and that is handled by Wendy. Here come the swarm again. 130 left. Lyle Thompson, Thompson coming in, rips one wide of the goal, and the loose ball taken here by Halifax. Scott Campbell, he's got himself a nice little game going. No doubt Thompson about that. Doing what he does. The elder statesman in this league, one of the oldest players in the league, like you mentioned earlier in the broadcast, looking like a youngster though, Pete. A lot of jump to his game this season. Pass across, shot, they score! Halifax still up here by five, but there's they're going to take a, a closer look at this one, Pat. But yeah, of course, uh, in the fourth quarter, under two minutes, they're going to review everything. So they'll take another look at this one here, but we'll take another look as Shane Jackson finally gets off the Schneid. We've seen him so many times on that exact same play, Pete. Yeah, off you were just bench, mentioning it, yeah. So many times, literally just said it. Yeah. But this time, that looks that's, pretty a, good. that's a good goal. I, this is going to be a, a pretty quick review, I think so. And he gets a free hug from Warren, too. <laughs> Warren Hill. Jackson, the defending MVP. Thank you. Finally, finally beating Warren Hill. He had one goal before, but off the bench, we yeah. saw it so many times. So that closes the gap to 15 to 10 with 61 seconds left here. Crazier things have happened, Pete. Yeah. This is where faceoffs matter. I mean, if Withers can chew up as much clock as possible, get the ball, you can almost put the nail in the coffin. That yeah. would do it for sure. And Withers pops it up into the stick of Tara Finkel. And Halifax has possession of the ball. But did they give it away? They did. And here come the swarm up the other way. Shot that goes up and over the nets. Wiedemann couldn't get it on goal. And Halifax getting it back. And Gillies with it here for the Thunderbirds. And it'll be played here. Hasek just killing some time. Kyle Jackson. Way up in the air, just dumps it in the corner. And this will be the final opportunity for Georgia to try and just get within a few here. Likely will end up a 15-10 final here. We'll see what the Swarm do to try and get one final shot. McIntosh moves it over. That will do it. Lacrosse game is over. Make the final. Halifax 15, Georgia 10, as the Thunderbirds are welcomed back home by 3,000 fans here tonight. Warren Hill with a victory in goal, Austin Shanks with a night, and 
Cue up Maxine. This is Thunderbirds. Are victorious again here tonight, Pat. What a welcome back to the nest for this Thunderbirds team. The most balanced we've seen this offense all season. They put up a 15 spot. The righties contribute, the lefties contribute. The defense looked a bit helter-skelter at the start, but really came together down the stretch. A complete performance for 60 minutes. But the Georgia Swarm just not able to get it done. A team that has a lot of veteran presence on them, but a young team as well. Their future's bright, no doubt. And a good shot of the coaching staff there of the Thunderbirds and some handshakes. Which is always nice to see. You gotta love that about the NLL. A lot of these guys play with each other in the summertime, to, you know, whether it be field or box or whatever the case. And, and this is a tradition too for the Thunderbirds, Pat. It is after every game. After every. We'll come back with Tyson and your post game show coming up. 15 10, your final. You're watching the NLL on TSN. What is belief? Nathan McKinnon? At 14, he wasn't wishing he'd make it to the NHL. He believed that he would. So while other kids were playing video games, he was putting in the work to make his dream come true. Guaranteed Rate believes in your dreams. That's why we treat everyone like we treat our own family and work extra hard to get you the lowest low rate possible. Because if you believe, you will. Introducing Fanatics.ca, Canada's largest collection of officially licensed fan gear. From all the leagues and teams you love, shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.ca, officially licensed everything. You like checks. Hey, we like checks. You like new moves. We like new moves. You like to score. We like to assist. Alterna Savings, the good in banking. Welcome back to the NLL on TSN. I'm here with our player of the game, Austin Shanks. Six and one, which matches the Halifax Thunderbirds record now. Have a night, Austin Shanks. That is something that we're really getting used to saying. We're used to you going off, but it's becoming more and more consistent. What's been different this season for you? Uh, I mean, it's my. I can't thank my teammates enough, right? A lot of my goals were off, uh, off ball. So my teammates are finding me and we're just we're really trying to gel as an O and um, I'm trying to stay in the best shape as I can, and as long as I can keep staying healthy here, I just want to keep grinding away. Austin, this team has talked so much about identity and, and not being the same team as the 2019-2020 Halifax Thunderbirds. Just what is that identity? It looks like you took a step closer to figuring that out tonight. Yeah, I think every game we're taking little steps. That was a, I think that was a big step. I think that was one of our first real close to 60 minutes, which we haven't done, and I, I don't know the stats, but I feel like the whole offense were contributing uh, and it's, it's just, that was fun to play in, and we're just going to keep getting better and better. Thanks, Austin. Great game tonight. Cheers. Austin Shanks, your player of the game. Six goals and one assist. Going back up to you, Pete and Pat. 
All right, yeah, the old Cy Young award winner right there, 6-1. <laughs> I love the mullet, too. That's great here by Austin Shanks. No doubt. That's exactly what a lacrosse player is supposed to look like. But Shanks, I will confirm it for you. Yes, the entire offense was contrib contributing. The righties, the lefties, they were tremendous tonight. All right, well, uh, listen, let's uh, take a look at some of the action. There was a lot of goals and a lot of saves here tonight. Yeah, prayers goes out to the underbetters because we saw both teams fill the back of the net. The offenses were clicking, especially early on. And we see, but Keo, big game from him. The entire offense, the defense, a full 60 performance from the Thunderbirds. Tough loss for Georgia though. Yeah, for sure. I mean, a great job by the Halifax D to shut down, you know, and we saw Jackson score one late and they limited Lyle Thompson as well to just a few points tonight too, so. Yeah, I said in the pregame, if you can hold him to four points, then that could be successful for this defense. No doubt about that, Pete. Yeah, uh, good return. Uh, good to be back in Nova Scotia, certainly, and uh, back. And uh, maybe it was uh, the home cooking here that uh, <laughs> got to Austin Shanks and Stephen Keel going, but they really were fired up tonight for this one. So, again, a, a big win. That keeps them sort of on pace with Buffalo. They're yes. trying to kind of stay right there with the Bandits, right? So. Uh, that will pretty much uh, do it, I think, for us. So we, we we wrap in here, I think so. That's pretty much good. I, I just want to stay. You know, it's been so long that I don't want to go home. But uh, anyway, <laughs> we will uh, we will say good night here from uh, Halifax on behalf of Pat Gregoire and Tyson Geig. We hope you enjoy the action tonight, and we will talk to you next time. You've been watching the NLL on TSN.